Have you ever wondered why bees are so attracted to flowers, or how frogs seem to always know when and where to find a tasty snack? It's all part of an amazing interconnected web of life called an ecosystem. In the vast expanse of a meadow, teeming with life both seen and unseen, a fascinating dance of interdependence unfolds. The flower, bursting with vibrant colors, produces sweet nectar, a sugary treat that fuels the bee's busy day of collecting pollen. The bee, in its quest for this sweet reward, inadvertently carries pollen from flower to flower, enabling the plants to reproduce. But wait, there's more to this story. Our amphibian friend the frog patiently observes the meadow, its bulging eyes focused on the buzzing activity. It sees an opportunity for a protein-packed meal in the form of a plump unsuspecting bee. And so, the cycle continues, each organism playing a crucial role in the intricate balance of the meadow. Think of an ecosystem like a bustling city, and every living thing has a job to do. Plants are the ultimate chefs, using sunlight, water, and air to cook up their food through photosynthesis. We call them producers because they produce their own food. Animals can't make their own food like plants can. They're consumers, which means they get their energy by eating other living things. Some animals, like our friend the frog, are carnivores, getting their energy from other animals. Herbivores, like deer and rabbits, munch on plants for their meals. Then there are omnivores, like bears and some humans, who enjoy a mixed diet of both plants and animals. But what happens when plants and animals die? That's where the decomposers come in. These tiny heroes, like bacteria and fungi, break down dead stuff into nutrients that go back into the soil. They're like nature's recyclers, making sure nothing goes to waste. Imagine a food chain like a line of dominoes, each one representing a different organism. It all starts with the sun's energy, captured by plants. A grasshopper might munch on the plant, then a hungry frog hops by and gobbles up the grasshopper. But the chain doesn't end there. A snake might slither in and catch the frog for its dinner. In reality, ecosystems are much more complex than a simple line. They're made up of many interconnected food chains, forming a giant interwoven food web. Food webs show us how energy flows through an ecosystem, from the tiniest bacteria to the largest predators. They remind us that everything is connected, and even small changes can have ripple effects throughout the web. Sometimes, different species develop unique relationships called symbiotic relationships, where they live in close association with each other. Mutualism is like a win-win situation for everyone involved. For example, bees get nectar from flowers, and in return, they help the flowers reproduce by spreading pollen. It's a sweet deal for both. In parasitism, one organism benefits at the expense of another. Think of a tick latching onto a dog. The tick gets a free meal but the dog might get sick. Commensalism is like a one-way street where one organism benefits and the other is neither harmed nor helped. Imagine a bird building a nest in a tree. The bird gets a safe place to raise its young and the tree doesn't really mind one way or the other. So, the next time you're out in nature take a moment to appreciate the intricate connections all around you. From the smallest insect to the tallest tree, every living thing plays a vital role in the delicate balance of our planet. Think about it. What would happen if even one piece of this incredible puzzle were to disappear? 